Lions HR presents the University of North Alabama Week in Review. And now, here's your host, J.D. Byers. Men's and women's basketball at UNA both off to hot starts, and plus UNA football, they're on the list. They're one of 24 teams selected to vie for the 2013 Football National Championship. Details are straight ahead, but first, this word from Lions HR. Hi, I'm Bill Lyons with Lions HR. If you own or operate a small business, then you're aware of the growing number of challenges affecting your profitability. And if you're like most companies, the most expensive challenges are often people-related. At Lions HR, we've helped hundreds of business owners who were frustrated with the rising costs of payroll, workers' compensation, employee benefits, and the ever-increasing number of employment regulations. There's a better way to manage your human resources. Find out how working with Lions HR can improve your company's profitability. North Alabama hit the 3-0 mark on November 12th in their home basketball opener in front of 1,376 fans at Flowers Hall. The crowd saw history made too as UNA set a single game three-point record with 18 made trays in the game versus Trevecca Nazarene. Five Lions hit double digits led by Bruce Adams with 19 and he only played 17 minutes. The Lions got over half of its points from non-starters in the victory over the Trojans. Up next, a home-and-home -home series with Tuskegee from the SIAC. Missy Tiber and the UNA women are also perfect on the year at 2-0. The women opened at home versus Tennessee Temple on the 12th and won by 30, 74-44, forcing 34 turnovers. Despite being out-rebounded, the Lions held Tennessee Temple to just 28% shooting from the floor. Sunday, UNA down Bellarmine at Flowers Hall 82-62. Delissa Mandrick from Decatur had 20, 15 of it via five three-pointers. Lauren Ferris added 17. Jennifer Town poured in 15. Kasima Ashburn, she came off the bench, pulled 11 rebounds. The NCAA football playoff bracket is set and North Alabama is in. The Lions are the number three seed. They'll host Tuskegee on Saturday in Florence at noon. Pre-game coverage on the network starts at 10 a.m. It will be only the third meeting ever between UNA and Tuskegee, led by former UNA offensive coordinator and Bobby Wallace assistant Willie Slater. The Lions ended the regular season in Texas, dominating the Lone Star Conference champion Tarleton State, leading just 10-0 at the half. UNA beat the Texans 44-7, scoring on all of its second half possessions. Gabe Poe recorded eight tackles and an interception. Second and 15, UNA rushing three up front. We drop the rest. The throw, intercepted Gabe Poe. Steps in front, far side 40, down the boundary 30. Gabe Poe streaking, breaks the tackle, dives inside the 20, and Gabe Poe had an INT last week. He'll get another one right there as the Lions continue their streak of picks in this season. Tailback Lamonte Thompson carried the ball 17 times and for the second consecutive game picked up over 100 yards. Backup quarterback Jacob Tucker scored twice. They clock at four, three, snap, middle, up here goes Tucker, left side, touchdown Jacob. And Jacob Tucker in for his second rushing touchdown today. And speaking of football, linebacker Tavares Wilson has made the first list of 28 nominees for the 2013 Harlan Hill Trophy, the only defensive player to make that cut. The last defensive player to win it, Ron McKinnon from North Alabama. And for NCAA football playoff ticket availability, tickets starting at just $5 for children, $10 for adults, go online or call the UNA ticket office at 765-LION. That's area code 256-765-5466. For the Weekend Review, I'm J.D. Byers. Roar Lions, everybody. The Week in Review brought to you by Lions HR. Join us again next time for the University of North Alabama Week in Review.